Hey y'all, welcome to or welcome back to Dave's Techway. Today we're going to be going into the BIOS of the Gigabyte B450M DS3H. We're going to be going in there and I'm going to show you how to dedicate so much of your system RAM for your integrated graphics. This, uh, this works for the Ryzen 3 2200G and the Ryzen 5 2400G. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to get into that BIOS and get that set up for you. I'll be right back. Right there, you want the XP XMP. You want it to profile one. That's going to give you your overclock memory. It's going to take it from 2667 hertz up to 3000 megahertz. All right, guys. Now to change your uh, integrated graphics, you come over to the chipset. Come over to the chipset. Make sure it's highlighted. Go down to integrated graphics. Put it down on forcers. Click on this one. Put it on UMA specified. Change that auto, and we want two gigs. Why I'm picking two gigs, most motherboards only go up to two gigs, but as you can tell on this one, it goes all the way up to 16 gigs, but this system's only got eight gigs in it. So we're gonna use two gigs of the RAM available in the system for the, for the integrated graphics. That way you can actually game some on it. We're gonna save and exit setup hit yes and we're going to let it load back up into windows let's make sure we're running two gigs of ram for the integrated graphics show more details performance amd down here uh, dedicated gpu memory it is showing two gigs for the graphics so that means you got six gigs of memory left up here Okay, 5.9. There's eight installed, but remember we're using two for the integrated graphics, so there's actually only six gigs of RAM left for the rest of the system, which you can tell just by on the desktop, it's only using 1.7. All right, all. It's pretty simple to be able to dedicate so much of your system RAM to your integrated graphics on the Ryzen 3 2200G or the Ryzen 5 2400G. Just keep, just keep in mind, guys, whenever you do dedicate so much RAM to your integrated graphics, it does take away from your system memory RAM. So it's going to show, so it's going to give you less memory for your system. Um, like I said in the video, you know, the system's only got 8 gigs. And 2 gigs of RAM for your integrated graphics is pretty good. Um, you know, even some of your lesser radio cords like the 1050, 1050 Ti and whatnot, you know, they got 2 gig versions because... Most likely, you know, that's all you're going to need for your integrated graphics. You ain't going to see much of a performance boost in your graphics by dedicating more than two gigs, I don't believe. Just because the graphics ain't that powerful on these chips. I mean, they're pretty good for integrated graphics, don't get me wrong. It can get you up in gaming. But more dedicating more than two gigs, I think you're just wasting it and taking it away from the rest of your system, which is going to, going to be more utilized through the system than it's going to be through the integrated, integrated graphics. Hope you enjoyed today's little video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you share this video with anybody you think that might need this information or could find useful information in this video. Um, if you want to see more videos from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification. That way you know next time I put up a video. Until next video, you all have a good day.